Hey, what is up, guys? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you a UMP45 rapid fire MOAB on the map Carbon, one of my favorite maps of all time. I don't know why I love it. It's just so small, and I know it so well, and I know the right running areas, and I and I just know how to play this map to use my gun skill and all the stuff that I'm really good at in Call of Duty and be able to use it on this map really well. So I do get a lot of MOABs on this map. But if you guys just didn't see that there was a drop zone, this is not domination, not kill confirmed, not team deathmatch. This is drop zone. I think this is the first ever drop zone gameplay I have ever put up on this channel. And it is Weird Weapon Wednesday, episode 20, which I'm gladly proud to bring to you guys. Truly is amazing how I can actually bring, bring on a series for such a long time. It means so much to me. But today we're going to be using, like I said, the UMP45. This gun truly is amazing in my opinion. Ever since they buffed it with the new hotfix or patch, it's been amazing. Even before that was really good, but they just decided to make it better. Give it more range and damage, which I thought was a great decision. It didn't need less kick or faster rate of fire. So I thought I would slap on rapid fire and just go after some feeds. I didn't end up getting any feeds with this gun, but I actually ended up getting an MOAB which I was very surprised with because if you guys don't know in drop zone this is a new game mode not new to Modern Warfare 3 but new to the whole Call of Duty genre and series it was in Black Ops it wasn't in Modern Warfare 2 COD 4 or World at War it is very very new so I thought I would bring you guys some gameplay I was challenged by one of my friends and subscribers and Twitter followers to get a drop zone mob so I ended up doing this and I ended up going after and just trying and playing with some fr friends and this is what happened it was unsilenced which I thought was also another challenge that I would give myself to be able to get this moab which I did end up getting it if you guys are watching this gameplay right now and actually looking at it and listening to my voice also the perks you want to be using with this gun are scavenger for sure if you're going for the drop zone moab or just moabs in general scavenger is almost a must also, your second perk should be hardline just to get that Moab at a 24 kill streak. because you guys always know it's so annoying to die one away. It's also good to get your specialist perk sooner and your support, or whether it be your assault Moab. Also, your third perk can vary to whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm most comfortable with Stalker, so I thought I would use Stalker in this. Sometimes I like to switch it up and use Dead Silence or Sit Rep Pro. Sit Rep Pro is amazing. UMP45 with rapid fire is amazing if you're looking to not, if you're looking to come up on the map, but if you're looking to not, you can also run the suppressor and extended mags, which I find to be very very useful. The game's about to end right here. I didn't know what to do. I get this corner caper. I call in the mob. I was so happy right here. I was freaking out that I just got a drop zone mob. It was my first drop zone mob ever. I rarely ever play drop zone. So thank you guys for watching this video. You can leave a like below if you enjoyed it. You can also follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page. It's been Quantum FT. See you guys next time. Hey, thank you guys for watching this video, and on the left you'll be able to click on my most recent Weird Weapon Wednesday, and on the right you'll be able to click on a mystery surprise video that hopefully you guys will enjoy of my past videos. It's been Quantum FT. Follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, links in the description below. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.